Welcome to LinuxIntro.com. The purpose of this website is to help you pick a distribution of Linux and make it your everyday operating system. This website is not an attempt to teach you everything you need to know about Linux. This website is an attempt for users who are new to Linux or even new to computers altogether to be able to download, prepare, and install Linux on their computer and then to be able to use it competently enough to make it their everyday operating system to where they are comfortable with it. Starting from the very front page, a user with absolutely no experience whatsoever can click on Start Installing and Using Linux and then it will go through and explain why Linux is better than Windows and what makes it different than Windows and then uh, some additional benefits and the couple drawbacks such as you know it's it's newer and not as well um, supported by a lot of software manufacturers anyway then it goes on to show you the difference between the Linux distributions, which are just projects with that make versions of uh, operating systems that use Linux, um, that specialize in different areas, it discusses the difference between them with video and shows you how to download, how to choose, how to download, and how to prepare your Linux download to install it to your computer. And then after that, sorry, I'm I'm doing a lot of things at once here, so. This is a little slow. Anyway, after that, it goes on to show you how to move Windows or get it out of the way altogether and then start installing the distribution you choose. And once you've started installing it, it goes on to show you how to configure it, how to set it up, how to customize it, how to make it comfortable for you. Then once you're past that and once you're comfortable with that, the series of clicking next and previous that chain link series stops. From there, you can click on articles. The main article page is sort of separated by um, areas. This top area or section is actually the categories that articles are filed under when they're created. Articles are created under a main category and then a subcategory and then a sub subcategory. They're actually called level one category, level two category, and level three categories. Then under the level three categories are where you find the articles. It's done this way so that anyone not knowing what they're doing can actually find what they're looking for without knowing what it is they're looking for. Um, for example, if you know you want something for multimedia video, if you want to do something with video, then you know to click articles, and you know it's probably going to be under software because it's not a, it doesn't really fit in the rest and it would be under multimedia and that'd be where you find you anything that you're looking for related to video or whatever anyway it's very structurally organized and again on the, on the front page there's more than one section the top section is just the categories of articles the second section is the highest 10 voted articles which is always something you might be interested in watching in case there's something up there that uh, you might want to learn from Underneath that is the last 10 created articles, the newest 10 articles, and underneath that is the last 10 updated articles. These are articles that had a new page added to them, um, not you know minor textual edits, but actually a whole new page added to the article. Anyway, that covers the articles area, the, and then it, Linux Intro also has forums with only one main category, and underneath that section. Now that could always change too by the way. So could the design of this website. You see me clicking up here to get to the main uh, sections but these links could be anywhere by the time you watch this video. As a matter of fact this one just got uh, e-information organizer just got redeveloped in a matter of two hours. So I mean websites get redesigned all the time. Anyway underneath the forum category area or section is another section for the oldest ten unanswered forum topics. If you're a person that just likes to come to the forums to help people out, then this is your area right here. These are the oldest 10 topics that have no reply, that, that are waiting for replies. Underneath that is the last 10 created topics, or the newest 10 forum topics. Now I keep saying 10, but I meant to, um, I, I should just say the newest uh, forum topics. And then here is the last 
updated form topics, which means that they have a reply to them, the last ones that received replies. So these are the last ones that received replies, last ones that were created, and the oldest ones that are completely unanswered. Now right here, as I alluded to a minute ago, I keep saying 10 and that's really wrong. It could be any number you want. Over here on the right it says show more or less. You can select two, four, six, eight, or 10 entries in each section. It's your choice. All right, anyway, articles allow you to do many things. Now, you're always recommended to have an account on this website. It's a free website, and account's completely free, too. But there are benefits to having an account on this website. For example, if you have an account, then down here at the bottom of each article is a little section for rating the article. You're not actually choosing how much you like the article. What you're trying to rate it for is how informative that article is for somebody who might be trying to learn that. For example, this one covers installing uh, NDIS wrapper for your laptop's wireless, which is a very daunting task sometimes. So if it's a very intuitive article, you can actually rate it at a nine, meaning that anybody wanting to learn how to do this would very much benefit from this article. <clears throat> now, each page of the article will have this voting part on below it, but it applies to the article as a whole. So anytime you re-vote on another page, it, it's just your existing votes updated. So even though it's on each page, it applies to the whole article. Now, articles are chain linked together in series. For example, <clears throat> this is part one to the NDIS wrapper Linux wireless article, but it has a previous button at the bottom. That's because it was chain linked from another article meaning that it's meant to be played in a series so that when you finish this article you would move on to the next article which covers wireless so it never hurts to go ahead and vote if you're not sure because like I said if your votes already in there to just update your vote anyway it'll show you the current rating how many page views it's had you can subscribe to this article by clicking on the subscribe